The rules look pretty good, I think, considering they were typed up in 1891. They're perfectly legible. Uh, he signed them later uh, and headed them basketball in the old-fashioned way of writing it in two yeah. words. And then I think uh, most poignantly, he's, he's added at the end, uh, first draft of the rules of basketball hung in the gym so the boys might learn the rules. He did say when he returned to Springfield for a commencement and he gave a speech, he said his, his goal was always to leave the world a little bit better than he found it. Yeah, he had a, he had a broom. In the youngest grade, yeah. Pop it out. Dr. James Mason. Yeah. When he died, he left the rules to my father, who was named Sherman, who owned them for 44 years. He died in 1980. My brother, sister, and I inherited them, and we've had them since then. And it's out of 19 year history, but it's never really changed hands that set down to the family. We donated them years and years ago to the Naismith International Basketball Foundation because they're not ours, my grandfather's, in our opinion. So it's actually his money, and when they sell, it goes back into the charities and the foundation that we don't pick. Anything you've had your whole life, you don't miss. On the other hand, when it goes for the right reason, I know what I always do. I have no problem selling this. Okay. Let's go look at him. Yeah. Let's go look at him.